Hey everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to be talking about something I am extremely passionate about and that is how to prepare for concerts or raves. As many of you know, live music has come back to my life in a very big way and I am super excited to share with all of you about how I prepare for concerts or raves as I have been going to shows for a very long time and have been to well over 50 different concerts and many different music festivals and I figured that my tips and tricks on how to prepare would be well utilized by somebody who is watching my videos. Today's video is going to be focusing entirely on how to prepare for concerts, raves, and smaller shows, and I will be planning a video in the future on how to prepare for longer multi-day music festivals that involve camping, as they are two completely different worlds when you have to prepare for them. So with all that being said, let's get right into the video, starting off with clothing. So since we are talking about planning for your outfits, I figured I would bring you into our bedroom and show you exactly what kind of outfits I would pick for what particular type of shows or weather. So starting off with an indoor show that has seats. This is the rare opportunity I find with a live music show to be able to wear something that is nice and not feel worried about it getting dirtied up from being in a concert environment. So for a particular show like that, I would wear something like a nice romper or dress because I don't have the opportunity to wear those things to most of the shows that I go to. Next up, we have a show that is inside, but with standing general admission. For those kind of shows, I try to dress as light as possible. And so my favorite outfits to wear for those kinds of shows are these two different rompers here. They're both very light and breathable, and I think that they work great in a show that is very hot and packed and sweaty. Next up, we have a show that is outside with rain or possible rain on the forecast. For something like that, I would wear what makes you feel most comfortable when you get soaked. It's as simple as that. So if you are somebody that prefers to wear something like jeans and a t-shirt when you get soaked, so that way you don't feel as bad and the jeans kind of absorb some of the water and you don't feel as gross being stuck around in wet clothes, then absolutely wear that. But for me personally, I keep going back to these rompers every single time I go to any show really. And I did happen to wear this red romper to the reunion festival and I got soaked for about two hours and it was wet all day long, but I kind of enjoyed having it on and it didn't feel like it was weighing me down because it was such a light outfit. So that might be something to think about if it's going to be hot, but also rainy. And last but not least, we have an outside show that is going to be sunny. This is where you have total freedom and control over what you can wear and you can pick literally anything that makes you comfortable. For me personally, if it's an outside show that is sunny, I try to wear as little as possible so that way, again, I don't sweat as bad, but ensure that I bring sunblock along so that way I can cover myself up if my outfit doesn't completely cover up a majority of my skin. And so in that sort of an instance, you might want to wear something like a simple pair of shorts and a simple top, or you might want to wear something that is going to cover you up a little bit more, maybe a pashmina over your outfit, but if you are very comfortable dressing down and not wearing a lot and you enjoy the kind of concert and rave festival fashion, then by all means, wear something that is completely skimpy because that is the perfect environment for where you would wear something like that. An outside show where you have plenty of space and you can take a breather and take in water whenever you need. So next up, we are going to be talking about what kind of shoes you want to bring to your show. Personally, for me, I like to decide whether or not I am going fashion or function. And I am personally the kind of person that is always going to choose function over fashion when it comes to shoes that I wear to shows. Me personally, I always prefer sneakers whenever I go to a show as they are extremely comfortable and you won't mind standing in them all day long while you are at your show. But a lot of people do enjoy the fashion element of going to different concerts and raves. And if that is you, that is totally great. And you can totally wear something like this, some nice flats that make you feel good and, and you feel like match your outfit or maybe some boots that you feel like match it even better. But just ensure that if you are thinking about fashion, that you also think about functionality in there somewhat, as you will be standing on your feet the entire length of the show, however long that is, and make sure that your shoe wear is something that you're going to be comfortable in, as if you are in a lot of pain at the show, you are not going to have an ideal experience. And lastly, in terms of shoe wear, make sure to think about mud if you are going to be at an outside show. Recently at the Union Festival, I brought my old shoes, and this is how they look even after going through the wash. Still plenty of mud all over them, but they did clean up fairly well. These things were covered in mud during the show because it was an outside show that was extremely rainy and it just, the entire venue turned into slush. 
So I was very glad that I had been prepared and I had brought these shoes that were able to withstand all of that mud and I didn't care about getting through it. Whatever you decide to bring to the show in terms of your footwear, just make sure that it makes you happy and it serves whatever function you want it to serve. Next up, we are going to be talking about one of my favorite aspects of going to both electronic shows and concerts in general, and that is candy. Obviously, candy is a much bigger part of electronic music than it is in any other genre, but I have found people at events that are not electronic music related that do also enjoy the art of making candy and enjoy the process of giving it away to other people. So for me personally, what I like to do with my candy is I like to assess everything that I have and see what of it is really comfortable on my skin. As remember, you're going to be wearing this the entire length of the show and you wanna make sure it's not something that's gonna to be too tight or uncomfortable on your body. After you have everything that is most comfortable to you, Take stock of what is most important to you that you want to keep after the show. You shouldn't bring a ton of candy to a show that you don't want to trade away, as that is the entire point of wearing candy to a show, is to trade it away to other people and share those memories with them and keep them forever. So I know for me personally, there are many different bracelets such as these two that I have on currently that I would never want to trade away, and so I ensure that if I wear those, I put those at the very top of my wrist. And I remember that these bracelets are sacred to me and I don't want to trade them away to somebody else. And lastly, if you need to, obviously you can make more candy if you feel like you need to be a little bit more prepared for whatever show you are going to. Next up, we have figuring out the after plan after the show is over. This is obviously something you should think very hard about if you are going to be consuming any alcohol at all during the show. Personally, for me, I do tend to drink whenever I go to shows, but I will start early and I will stop at a certain point. I will set a limit to myself exactly how much I want to drink while I am at that show, and I won't go past that after, it, after I hit that drink limit or after I hit a certain time. I want to allow myself time for my body to be able to push out that alcohol, so that way I feel sober enough to drive. However, if you are staying at a local place and you are possibly Ubering back and forth to the show, then you have a little bit more freedom and you can drink as much as you want, as long as it's going to make you feel good. But if you are going to be drinking a lot, you have to think about costs a little bit. And it does get extremely expensive when you go to different shows, and the prices can vary wildly from venue to venue. I have been at places where a shot of Fireball has cost me $7, places where it's cost me 10 and I've had it cost me upwards of $13 before at particular venues. So make sure you do your research beforehand and figure out exactly how much it's going to cost you to drink at these shows and plan your tips accordingly alongside that. Now, personally, what I like to do when I go to shows is I make sure to bring a couple of these little tiny airplane bottles with me. And I, the reason why I like bringing these is they are an entirely sealed container. And so that way you're not doing anything wrong by having an open container in your car. Simply when you park at the show, you can get out of your car shoot one or two of these back real quick and toss them in a trash can on your way into the venue. It's a good way to get a little bit of buzz on your way in, but you don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of money on it as these are only a dollar or two at your local liquor store. As always, make sure you are being safe when it comes to using drugs and or alcohol and make sure that you reach out for assistance if you need it. Maybe consider getting a breathalyzer if you are somebody who likes to drink and knows that they have issues controlling themselves eliminating themselves to a particular number of drinks or stopping at a set time. That way you can be sure that when you are leaving the venue, if you are going to be driving, that you are not going to be inebriated and risking your lives as, as well as the others of other people on the road. And lastly, my final tip for preparing for a concert or a rave is to over-prepare way past the extent of what you would think is necessary. Make sure that you are bringing plenty of extras of everything in case you end up needing a little bit more than you thought you would, and that means in terms of everything. So make sure you are bringing plenty of water, possibly bring a few different water bottles with you. If you are somebody who needs caffeine when the show is over, make sure to bring an energy drink with you so that way you can be able to revitalize yourself after the show and go to whatever after party or head home if that's what you're choosing to do after the show is over. Next, make sure you bring a little bit of emergency cash with you. You never know when you are going to need a little bit of extra cash in case your car breaks down or something else happens where you are in dire need of actual cash and not just your debit card. And so make sure you have a little bit extra lying around, that way you are prepared in the event of an emergency. Next, you wanna make sure you are bringing both a completely charged phone and smartwatch if you have one, as well as a portable battery charger with cords for any devices that you might be using while you're at the show. It's amazing how fast these smartphone batteries can drain, especially when you are taking photos or videos 
and you are in a crowded event space where there is little service, so your phone will be constantly searching for service the entire time. And so if you're somebody like me who likes to take memories of the show and likes to take pictures often and sometimes a video or two, then you might want to consider bringing one of these as it is crucial for when you get out of the show if your phone is dead to be able to charge it up if you don't have access to a wall outlet anywhere near you. And the very last most important part of going to any concert or show is to ensure that you are bringing proper ear protection. Personally, I most enjoy Zound earplugs, although I have also tried the Excision branded ones that he sells whenever he is at a show, and personally I enjoy them both very much. I think the Zounds are a very high quality earplug and they cost around $30 on average. And I think you will be amazed when you put these earplugs in your ear about how little they block out of the actual sound of the music. It's actually more of a pleasant change for me personally. When I am in a crowd and there are people chatting around me, if I am in the back, it's nice because it cuts out a lot of the background noise and all you hear is the music at the front. This is especially important if you are somebody who likes to hang out near the rail as it can really damage your ears very quickly, and even if you are somebody who is in the back but you are at a higher decibel electronic music show or rock show, then make sure to have your earplugs on you, and so you want to make sure to preserve your hearing so that way you can go to these live music events your entire life. Well, that's all I have to say about the topic of how to prepare for a concert or a rave. As I said, there will be a video coming out soon about how to prepare for a multi-day festival that includes camping, so make sure to be on the lookout for that. If you thoroughly enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like as that really helps my channel grow and spread it out to my videos to more people. If you enjoy seeing my face every week, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a video, regardless of what it is about. And please make sure to make, leave a comment down below if there's anything that I might have missed or if you have a comment to add about how you personally prepare for a show or rave. Thank you so much for watching and take care.